Okay, so now once we have the lot, we need to be able to put permits in it. Okay, so here's our Market Street lot. Uh, we do see that we can buy a second permit in it. So just from the allocation, so just to make sure that you know where I went there, lot administration to allocate. So this is where you create the lot. This is where you create the permits. So we've, we've gone in here and we're in this report now. So we see right now there's no permits in there. And we can go in and take a look. You'll see there'll be nothing listed. What we're going to do is go in and add some permits. So you can put in a prefix if you wish. You don't necessarily have to, but you can if you like. So we're just going to add 10 permits here. You can also add a postfix. Now, if you had pre-printed permits and you had them in an Excel sheet or something like that, you can plunk them in, in here and it will accept those. Or you can just start putting in your own permit numbers. Uh, it will also accept alphanumerics, so you're able to do that. So you can add them in individually or you can put them in, in a range. And that's what we're going to do here. Now we can also decide in this, do we want them to go into the lot visible or non-visible? And the reason for that is you may want to add permits to a lot. Let's say you're you're transitioning between uh, winter and, and summer and you've got an area where you've been piling snow. So there's uh, three or four spots that are have been hidden for the winter, let's say, and you want to add them back into, into the system. You could add them in as not visible and then turn them on at will as you go. Uh, typically, we do add them in as visible as uh, uh, by default. OK, and we're going to get a list of permits that are that are going to be added. OK, so now if we go into our Market Street, we see all our permits that are here. So again, uh, let's say the reverse happens. You're going from uh, summer into the winter and you want to take away a couple of spots. So you want to remove some permits. You don't necessarily have to, to remove them from the system. You can actually just make them unavailable and update that, that availability. And now these, these permits will not be able to be, uh, to be purchased. However, as an admin, you can override this. So that's another reason that you may want to hide some, some permits, just to have some in reserve. So if you had a lot that was completely full or whatever, and you wanted to have a, a few permits left for special purposes, you can hide them so they're not available to the end user. But like I say, they're always available to the admin. You'll, you'll see that even though these are not available, it shows that they're uh, available to the admin. Okay. We, we do uh, have a couple spaces for snow in the winter that we can open up. In the yeah, yeah. So now, uh, you, then you can just turn them back on. But let me just go back to the uh, adding and, and removing permits because there's something in there that you, that you need to know as well. Okay, so I added all these permits in, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out the first three. So it shows me that they're going to be removed. Okay, so now if I go in to look at that lot, the first three have been removed. Now this is the important part. So you could have permits in a lot that uh, that you remove like this, um, and they could have lots of history on them. For so you could be using the lot for a couple of years and decide to remove some permits out of it. But then if you wanted to add them back in, I want to show you what happens there. Here, four that I took out. Actually, let's go to four, and if it overlaps, that'll be good. Okay, so I'm adding them back in here. I didn't do that right. <laughs> Sorry, let me try that again. Ah, that's what I want to see. I must have been in the wrong lot. Okay, so when I add them back in, you'll see that permit is to be 
restored. And this other one already exists. So uh, it's, it's doing two things here. It's bringing these back in and it's not overwriting one that's already in there. So this is important because what this means, and this is true of almost anything in the system, if we delete a vehicle, for example, and it's a mistake, we can uh, bring it back. We never delete anything in the system. It always gets archived. So these permits would go into an archive state and we just brought them, restored them back and they're now back into the system. Okay, any questions about that? Thanks. 